Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Oh shoot, I don't think I have everything. Is that, it's 1am for you right now? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hi! Hold on, let me, let me... Boop! Boop! There we go. Hi, how's everybody doing? I have school, but I can't miss this stream. I mean, you could! You really could! I have all the VODs on my YouTube, so... But nice to see you, Strap. Yeah, I got uh, this little VTuber model going. One day I'll become not chibi and become like a very full, full, what is it? Full human form VTuber. <laughs> but yeah, do I have no Malleus poles? Uh oh, that's not good. This is all I have 7, 780. That's all I have for um, Malleus and one single pole. That's what I have. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing my best. <laughs> Today was pretty rough for me, but I'm here to play Twisted Wonderland, and that always cheers me up. So, you know. Hey, now I have more gems. Nice. Okay. I got all the cards so far. Lucky. Bro, I saw somebody comment on one of my community posts that they got Idia, like, the first time, but they didn't get to Beck, and they were trying to get to Beck. I find that so funny. <laughs> like, the twist steps are just laughing at them. Hey, hi, buddy, what's up? Your favorite biter? <laughs> hi. Okay. Is my Twitch connected again? Okay, there, there it is. Hi, Sly! Alright, there we go. Alright, alright, we're ready? Are we set? Oh, shoot, I already completed a bingo? What did I do? Oh, I got gems! Oh my god, I'm just getting gems left and right. That's so nice. Okay, it's Rook's turn. We're gonna get Rook after this. Oh, boy. So... I'm ready. Appel did that to me. Oh my gosh, you got a zoo first, then Appel? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Stream works now. Yippee! Yeah. Whose hand did you take when you started? Kaleem's! I've been a loyal Kaleem stamp since day one. I will never change. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um. One thing that I want to do is recalibrate my face. Because I noticed that my model's not really picking up well. Okay, am I good? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Alright, now we can start. Book three. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, I feel like this is every book three in each event, or like every mid book in each event, like something happens. And I, I'm. There's like a plot twist, and I want to know what the plot twist is. I have a feeling I already know what it is, but you know what? You know you don't know what I mean? Alright, let's get started. I'll look around. Hi, Reese. You heard my threat. Any of you to go home? Why is this so catchy? What? Are you... The accordion in the background is just going crazy. Is this where we're supposed to meet up? Everybody better be here. Ah, uh, there you are. Did all of us actually arrive on time? Now that's a rare occurrence. Oh, is it? <laughs> Ugh, took you guys long enough. The crowds have been totally overwhelming. Oh, poor Idia. The social anxiety. Well, this is the central square for the festival. There are bound to be crowds. Are the decorations impressive? The main event will be held on that stage. Now, this festival is particularly important ritual in Shaftland's history, set to date back to before the advent of magic. Okay, here we go, another interminable lecture. <laughs> I love how Nergi says that and Trane's mouth is still yapping. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> is that tent over there? Wait, I want to learn. I want to know the history. We're just gonna ignore- Aww, that sucks. Okay. Hi, Dorcas! What's up? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh. Alright. You've been spoiled? Oh, that's not good. Wait, we, need, we, need, we really need to- As a fan, we need to get back together and, like, get spoiler etiquette 
back on the spotlight. Okay, that's what I, my main thing is, because I've, I've been spoiled to a, a JP stuff, and I was very sad about that, but it, it is what it is. Okay. There are a bunch of smaller tents around, too. The smaller ones had little performances and merch and stuff. Oh, so there's like a little fair going on right now. Okay. Say, Professor Train, since we're doing field work and all, could we take a look around the square? Well, I don't see why not. We have a bit of time before the show starts. Alright, everyone can go observe the festivities. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Nice! Hey you, Grim, are there any tents you want to check out? If you look to the right, there's a most fascinating sight. Oh hey, what's that over on the left? No, don't be <laughs> What? I, I want to go back and spend time with Idia then. Okay, well since I'm, I'm aiming for Malleus. Oh shoot, wait, did Malleus say right or left? Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Oh no, he said right, he said right. Left, left? Everybody's saying left? Really? Okay, you know what? I trust chat. I'll, I'll do left. Right? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> no, no, everybody split. No. I did right first. Q, baby looking left or right. Me, yeah. You're on the right, Rose. He must be inspected you. Oh. Oh, shoot. I am on the right. Okay. Okay, we're going right. We're going right. We're going right. And I'll go back and do left because I really like idiot too. <laughs> My turn, and it's super. It's got super long legs. Oh, it's one of those things. Those are stilts. That is almost assuredly an ordinary human in costume. The human climbs on top of the poles and then walks on them to make themselves look exceedingly tall. Huh. So if I used those things, I'd be taller than you, Hornthorn. <laughs> That's so cutting. Why? Are you trying to compete with Malleus? <laughs> uh huh. Care to try me? Ooh, ooh. Were I, were I to give it a proper effort, I doubt someone of your stature could tower over me even with the aid of stilts. Ooh! Oh! What is that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean a proper effort? Can you make yourself grow taller or something? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> what do you mean? Watch with that smirk! You're getting really cheeky, Hortard. Oh my god. Oh wow. In that case, I'll make you get on top of the stilts and I'll ride on top. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Would that give you a shot? That sounds dangerous. Um, would that even give you a shot in the first place? <laughs> I suspect an extra person or two wouldn't really improve your chances. <laughs> um, if I still couldn't win, I'd throw Deuce it too. <laughs> Why is he bumping everybody in his vicinity right now? <laughs> it's so busy here. There are so many different showcases. I doubt I could catch all of them. You, let me know if there's something else you're interested in. Oh, I just saw something curious come out of that tent way over there. Hey you, let's go check out that tent up front! <laughs> oh my god, more choices? Oh, these actually matter now! Um... Uh... uh Stop, don't track twos. The mass transfer you would break so many things. Oh yeah, a lot of people speculate he can transform like a dragon like Maleficent. Yeah. No, he, he would destroy more, more than a couple things. Do them all. I want to do them all. I just have to run it. Okay. Um, which one did you choose first? I, I This is my first time playing this, so I don't know what to choose. Um, I'll go with the tent over there. Whoa, what's that guy thinking? He's walking across a rope that's way high up! It's called tightrope rocking. I've never seen someone do it in the middle of a city. Hmm. Okay. I've heard of such performances, but I've never seen one before. Balancing a long pole in both hands and while walking across a single piece of rope. It's patently absurd. Walking on the ground isn't enough for them? They have to walk in the air too? <laughs> There's no facts. Nerve-wracking, isn't it? Exciting, isn't it? Mm. It's exciting to look at. Exciting. Thanks for the rose, Eve. 
You call that sex spinning? My goodness, you. You're more daring than you look. Bro. <laughs> what is up with Azul judging me this event, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. Azul, an idiot, would hate that, of course. Either way, surely there's something safe. There's some safety net I simply can't see. <laughs> but even with that knowledge, my palms are still getting sweaty just watching this. Oh god. The wind's blowing hard, too. Now the rope's wobble. Ah, look out! He's gonna fall! <laughs> I simply don't understand it. How could someone rely so heavily on their legs when they only have two of them and with no suction cups to boot? <laughs> They're so invested. I love it. <laughs> Knees weak. Ours are heavy. <laughs> yeah. Azul and Grim are both equally absorbed watching this. For different reasons too, yeah. That's something you wouldn't. S That's not something you see every day. Yeah. Hmm. Those people in the front of the tent over there. I think I've seen them before. Who? Okay. This is now. Now this is like a real ultimate game, cause like in ultimate games, I always go back and like try to do a hundred percent route. So we're just gonna go back. Thanks for the follow. Go back and figure this out. All right, let's see here. I love this music. Also, once again, we're very good at walking and bouncing. I wish Train got a masquerade costume. Same. I wonder how how he would have looked. I'm sure there's fan art of it out there. Okay, let's just skip. Give me the choice. Uh, it was left. Left, right? That's idiot. Dogs? <laughs> what? There's a dog on its hind legs leading around a human on all fours. Dog walking its owner? At least that's the costume idea. Oh. Well, it's less of a costume and full on mascot outfit, and there are tons of others. I thought he was talking about a furry for a second. I'm like, oh my god, we have furries in Twister Wonderland? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Why does this event have to have, to have such a bop BGM? I don't know. It's just it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> oh my god. A two-tailed horse whose head is a second mirror. A crawfish preparing to cook. A fit. A chef? <laughs> a ship being chased by a fish? Oh, okay. So everything's just like flipped. Okay. What an odd lineup. What a fun lineup. Yeah, that's funny. I like that. But you actually like those bizarre getups? You've got some strange taste, you. Alright, I have a feeling they, they're all gonna judge me if I like anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be super negative. Ooh, I get it. They're all role reversals. So then, if a dog walking its owner counts, couldn't you two get in the show if you swapped roles? <laughs> What the hell, idiot? <laughs> and he had just said, I should get on all fours and start crawling. And idiot, oh my god. Okay, alright. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't want to want you leading me by the collar, even if it was for show. <laughs> oh god. Hmm, wait a sec. If you're the one being led, then, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, he doesn't know that Grim were his henchmen, yeah. <laughs> he clearly meant the opposite Grim. It's so busy here, there's so many different showcases. I doubt I can catch all of them. Oh yeah, okay, and this is the check second choice. And we go with the tent up front. Ooh! Oh my god, I like this. Check it out, you! They're playing instruments! Yeah! They've got a drum... A drum, some kind of violinish thing, and a boogle. What boogle is the the, the trumpet-looking thing, right? I was wondering where the lively music was coming from. Looks like we found it. Looks like we found it. Ooh. It's so loud; it's hard to believe just three people are playing. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to dance. Makes me want to sing. Um, I don't think my voice is that good, so let's just dance, dance, dance. Yeah, I was just getting into the groove too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
look like everybody around the tent is dancing with their arms locked together. Oh, that's cute. They seem so friendly. Do they all know each other? No. This festival has always been an effort to ensure everyone from all walks of life can enjoy themselves. Hmm? Oh, okay. And there we go. That's funny. I like how there's even... There's like... How many choices was that? That was like... At least eight different outcomes. Oh my god. I'm gonna go back and play like a bunch of this a, a bunch of times. But for the stream's sake and for time's sakes, let me sit in your lap. What the hell? What kind of... <laughs> what kind of... What, what is the content? I don't- I don't know if the context will make this better. Let me say you laugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh hi Robo, what's up? Okay. I wish my school trips were like this to be honest, bro. My- <laughs> My school trips are nothing like this. Yeah. When the ultimate game <laughs> I'm kind of expecting you to see Royal Sword Academy because there's like Shenya. Oh my god, if that happens- Like they did that for Poor Fest. It'd be so cool if they did that in this event too, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I see some familiar faces over by that tent there. Oh! Oh, you knew. You just baited me. Okay. Those are real sort of academy students, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> ah, you're right. There's Niche, and he's surrounded by a bunch of townsfolk. I see Chenya as well. I wasn't expecting to run into him here. There are more of them too. The whole area is calling with sparkly Royal Sword Academy Prince archetypes. <laughs> oh no, Idiot's worst nightmare. <laughs> Actually, Bill's worst nightmare. Hmm. I thought. I thought Cord. If Bill showed up in this event, oh my god, <laughs> the, the drama <laughs> that would spur. Oh gosh. Okay. That orange horse, yeah. Hey, Tenyan. Oh, Nage there is dude. Do we all hate Nage? Is this what's going on? Is that what the, is that the vibes I'm picking up from you guys? I, I, Nage is pretty cool to me. I don't really mind Nage. Okay. <laughs> I guess all the preppies turned up for the social too, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Rook is a big fan of Nage. Oops. Oh, I wonder what's happening. <laughs> Mmm, they stand out even in these vast crowds. That's Royal Sword Academy for you, I suppose. I see some other people I know as well. I guess a lot of Arkin Academies came for the social. This show is supposed to be the centerpiece of the festival. I'm sure it's on every school's itinerary. Hey, someone's come out on the center stage! Looks like the festivities are starting. Everyone have a seat at the tables. Oh my gosh. For the bench seating, there's enough room for six people at each table. I'll sit with Professor Train. I'm sure it will be quite educational. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll sit at that table too. <laughs> that way I don't get stuck as the odd guy out. <laughs> oh, cute. Very well. You, come join us. You could stand to learn more about this world. Alright. I mean, I need it, clearly. <laughs> oh gosh, that's it. At least we get costumes, yeah. Man, I, w I wanna- I want more Chenya interactions. Ooh. Then I shall join your table as well. I'd like to hear Yule's thoughts and everything. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. More room. Yeah. Hey, I'm sitting next to my henchman. Someone's gonna look up- Shh, Grim, shh up. Shh, 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 shh up. <laughs> Let me sit next to him. Oh my god. Is that right? Then I shall next to, uh, then I shall sit next to you, Grim. I trust you won't mind. <laughs> I guess if you insist. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now hold on. I would also like to sit at my liege's table and hear his insight. Oh, I have a feeling. He's the reason why the the title is the, why is why the title is. Oh my god. <laughs> here comes here comes number one Sebastian. Oh my god, Sebek, the number one Mally simp. Oh gosh, okay. Sit elsewhere, Grim, and I shall take your place. That will make six. <laughs> to the table. You're not the boss of me. I don't really care where I sit, but I don't like your tone. So now, nah, I am moving. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> here we go. Have you no appreciation for what an honor it is to sit next to the great Malleus? That seat is wasted on you. 
Oh my gosh, jeez. <laughs> Yikes, here we go. Another endless circle argument over something completely trivial. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, Zebek beefed with a goat earlier, and now he's beefing with a with a, a bipedal cat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. If someone doesn't step in here, we're never gonna get the seating figured out. True. <laughs> How about if we tell this rock, paper, scissors? What if you draw straws? Rock, paper, scissors. I use that in my decision making all the time. Uh huh. A simple and straightforward approach. Very well, Grim. To battle! <laughs> this is. It's not that serious, bro. It's just rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, shoot! Really? Do people say that? I say rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Instead of shoot. Shoe. I don't know where the shoe came from, honestly. We never use it, but yeah. What? Woohoo! <laughs> How bitter defeat tastes. That's what you get for leaving your fate up to chance. If you don't want to lose, you should be better prepared. <laughs> Those like you should cheat. You should have just cheated. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lost to a cat, yeah. At least you know he respects his defeat. He he he, he takes defeat like he takes the L like a like a good man. He's respectable for that. Respect <laughs> just let Mel socialize you have packs. <clears throat> uh, so this is where the night driven college students are sitting. Hello, Flam. Are you touring the festival as well? Yes, it's a part of my duties as student council president, since I invited all the schools. Might I join your table? I'd enjoy the chance to chit-chat with you all. By all means, you're more than welcome. There's not enough space, however. Oh, that's an easy solve. Grim can sit in Yu's lap. Oh, okay. <laughs> the back no, please don't get any ideas. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No, don't, don't say it to Beck. Please don't say it. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. Any opportunity to chat with a noble college student is an honor. I'd be glad to have you join us. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to be stuck on someone's lap. Well, uh, we, you can always sit with me. <laughs> Dude. Oh, God, idiot. <laughs> you bring... Bring the creep levels down. There's so much happening. <laughs> that guy's giving me the heebie jeebies. Sounds like an even worse option. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Reel it back, India. Yeah, right. Oh my god. That That's another moment to add to the cat lover India montage. <laughs> oh my gosh. You would scoop back and make extra room for me to sit. <laughs> Apologies for the trouble, but thank you for having me all the same. My word, I haven't even thought of that option. Oh, why did you speak of what I wanted that seat? Because he wanted to preserve his hearing, obvious. <laughs> I think that someone other than that has let me sit in their lap. <laughs> Are you aware of how tall you are? For real, isn't he like the second tallest or something? <laughs> hmm, I suppose you have a point there. Then you can sit in my lap, Azul. <laughs> how desperate are you? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sebek, don't pester them. You lost the contest and now you must accept the outcome with grace. I, I beg your pardon, sir. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> Come now, there's no need to mope. You can sit at the table next over. There's hardly any difference. For real, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Go on and sit down. The show's starting. Silver is acting like this is another Monday for him, bro. I love it. Oh gosh. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, damn. Damn is right, bro. <laughs> what was that? 
<laughs> what was that? What was that? I I don't understand Civex logic sometimes. Uh, fighting with a goat is something, but sitting in some this is another level type of simp. Like I I don't think I'll ever reach that type of simp <laughs> with anybody. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hold on. I need, more, I need more. I made myself some tea. I, I like it, so I'm gonna drink it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Just sit back being sit back, he asked. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I love Malice, but not as bad as Sebek. Yeah, Sebek. <laughs> I don't know any other Malice uh, stand or simp that would be willingly ask <laughs> to sit on someone else's lap. I know you know Malice stands that want to sit in Malice's lap, but not not the other way. <laughs> it's so crazy. He's so funny. Never let Sebek go. Oh. Um, never let Sebek go on the same trip as Malleus if you want to preserve your eardrums. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why didn't he ask to sit on Malleus' lap? Well, um, I think he respects Malleus. Like, he views him as, like, almost like an idol. So I don't think people that view their idols as, like, that would want to touch them or sit on them, like, crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> He's just sitting next to Malleus. Yeah, Sebek definitely lost his voice so many times from yelling about Malleus. Right? Yeah. I don't know how the voice actor gets tired. Like, I know that voice actor is in the studio yelling every single day. It's so funny. Poirier wants Grim to sit with him. Yeah. We're still having to deal with his behavior. That turning, tuning him out because of his skill. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Lilia with it. Oh my god. Wait, I feel like we needed Lilia. If you're gonna bring the whole Dias Monet family, Lilia needs to be there too. Just to, like, balance everything out and, like, put everything in control. Because I feel like only... Well, besides Malleus, Ma Lily can reel Sebek in. Okay. The kindly bell ringer. Okay. Who's the bell ringer? Rolo? Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> okay. Your attention, please, clown head. That's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> it's time to put, on put down your work and leave your worries at the door and celebrate. Topsy turvy fest. Oh, okay. Topsy turvy. What? We all gotta stand on our heads or something? Okay. <laughs> the idea is that the participants' sh social standings are inverted. Hence, festival goers need not worry about titles or status. I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> the weak become the strong, and everyone can play the part of a king. So you call it an an unceremonious ceremony? Indeed. As such, everyone wears masks for the duration of the festival. Sensible enough, that way no one will recognize you and you can conduct yourself however you please. Alright. Uh, oh yeah! I did notice people selling masks around town. There's something cool about seeing everyone looking all mysterious like that. Oh, this is where they get their masks? Or they- Oh, I know. They probably have their masks already on hand. Ah, fighting sounds like a good time to me. Oh, he does not like that. Okay. Oh, bye, Eerie. Thanks for coming. Okay. I always thought that Melius gave Sebek some candy or something as a child, and then he just admired him. Oh, I'm sure there's a... I'm sure it's revealed somewhat later. Definitely in Book 7 we'll find out. But yeah. I think something more than... Uh, I think maybe he just sees like Malice is super strong and he always wanted to be super strong, so that's why he looks up to Malice. That's my my little theory. <laughs> Roller haters unite. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> we all love Topsy Terzy Fest, but the one who loved it the most was uh, most of all was the kindly bell ringer. Oh. <laughs> is this history lesson time? Who's that? Have you truly never heard of him? Grim, did you not even read a little about Fleur City before coming? If it ain't food, I ain't interested. <laughs> I don't know if Grim can read. Is, is that an insult? I don't know if... Does Grim read? I don't really think so. <laughs> but okay. You know, your one-track mind is oddly reassuring. What's this? Have you never heard of the kindly bell ringer? Ooh. Never! Oh, the puppet time. Really? Really? That guy 
guy's talking to a hand puppet. <laughs> is he okay? Why are you concerned? The puppet is clearly meant to evoke a ventriloquist, ventriloquist dummy. Ventri, what now? <laughs> Me. <laughs> the clown behind the puppet is basically dubbing over it. Uh, I mean, he's talking without moving his mouth, so it looks like the puppet is talking. <laughs> I like how he stopped himself after saying dubbing, like, oh shoot, my weeb. My weeb is showing. <coughs> That's so funny. Yes, Grim makes us us do all the reading. Yeah. I think he just sleeps through class. Frax, I think so too. <laughs> so he's talking to himself? Why would anyone do that? It's an act. Now quiet down and watch. <laughs> Since you don't know, then I will tell you the tale of the kindly bell ringer. Is that where it cuts off? Oh, okay. I like Grim. He's annoying but adorable. He's adorable. He grew up on me like really fast. Especially after you like play book six, you really grow attached to him. <clears throat> we may be small group and I love this but we're acting loyal. You guys I appreciate you guys for coming every day. It's nice. And I like recognizing people's names. You know? Makes me makes me feel like I have a I have a little fan group to talk to about my, my twisted wonderland obsessions. And I need that <laughs> in my life. Okay. Grim's a sticky little gremlin, but I love him. Yeah. Twist tune. Oh shoot, twist tune! Okay, finally, I wanna play twist tune. <laughs> Topsy turvy square. Okay. Since you don't know, then I will tell you the tale of the kindly bell ringer. Our tale begins in the small city where the righteous judge lived. Oh, you're safe and free? Oh, shoot, hi! Okay, now the dots are connecting. The righteous judge was fair and just. Everyone respected him and abided by his just his judgments. Ooh, okay. That's that's the personage Flam told us about at Nobel College. Oh yeah, there was a big stone statue of him in the front of the school, right? So you remember, I'm surprised. I resent that. Of course I remember something I learned today. <laughs> but there was no one who adored him more than his own despicable. The kindly bell ringer. Oh, so the guy on the horse has a student. Uh, indeed. The kindly bell ringer is beloved throughout the Shaflands, much like the righteous judge. Ah, huh, interesting. Your streams are nice to listen to, and it's always nice to have another YouTube little twist. Thank you. It's always nice to have people who are obsessed with twists as, as much as me. You know, it's, it's, I feel united. <laughs> this tune is so adorable. Ooh, okay. But yeah, this is definitely not true. I'm pretty sure the kindly bell ringer did not like the rice and such, but we'll see. Alright. <clears throat> Neither rain or nor wind would deter the bell ringer from ringing the bells to announce the time throughout the town. But one day, disaster struck the peaceful city. Oh? You know, I've been wondering about this since I first heard the anecdotes about the righteous judge. What exactly was this disaster? I tried looking into it before the trip, but I couldn't find any useful information. I should think not. I should think not, since no one knows for certain. None of our literature, liter literature oh my god, goes into detail about it. Hmm. The only run writing we have on the matter is this. Disaster struck, enveloping the city in shroud, hued the same as a fiery crimson lotus. Interesting, so they didn't twist this? I mean, they did twist it, but they also erased, like, a part of history in Twisted Wonder. So, that sucks. <laughs> history major, yep. Oh, bye, Robo Lilia. Bye. Disaster was just full after all, yeah. So it makes sense that they would erase it. Yeah. They want to keep him righteous, so they gotta erase it. Crimson, hmm. Does that perhaps suggest a great fire? Oh yes, I understand fires can be devastating on land. It's a frightfully powerful element. Plus, back in the old days, they didn't have any building codes or regulations, so the buildings were probably crammed way closer together. The fire must have been worse than anything we can imagine nowadays. The fire crimson engulfed the city, throwing the people into terror and chaos. But the kindly bell ringer rang his bell and gave courage to the people. He then violently fought to protect the city. Wow, 
Nido! What a brave man he was! Ah, so he's basically a cool, gallant guy. Sound the moon! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> they say the bell ringer upheld the righteous judge's teachings in everything he did. What devotion. They must tru have truly trusted each other. Oh, brother. <laughs> yes, none of that would have happened if not for the righteous judge. Exceptional character. And what did the kindly bell ringer love most of all? Topsy Turvy Day! A long time ago, when the festival was called Topsy Turvy Day, the townsfolk chose the bell ringer to be their king. And how, and oh, how they celebrated! What a wonderful man he must have been! And what a wonderful celebration this is! Do you appreciate it more now? Yep, yep! Absolutely! <laughs> oh gosh. We appreciate it too! We've got lots of fun in store. Whether you're a local or just visiting, it's time to kick off Topsy Turvy Fest! Woo! Okay. That's a nice little history lesson, I guess. That was twisted, but... Now some people in fluttery costumes are coming out! Okay, who's ready for some Topsy Turvy fun? Oh shoot, the dancer. The tambourine. That's some rather impressive tambourine playing. They move so fluidly with those scarves floating about. It's like they're floating on air. Extra energy. Too strong. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> they're just dancing, idiot. Come on. <laughs> it's traditional to perform a dance with scarves and tambourines at this show. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, what's with the sparks that happen every time they shake the tambourines? Those are a form of magical fireworks. Uh huh. Then is everyone dancing a mage? No, most of them aren't. The sparks are produced by magical implements. The organizers would work with the mages to produce the magical tambourines. That way, anyone can use magic during Topsy Turvy Fest. Interesting, so in keeping with the Topsy Turvy theme, non -practi practitioners can use magic in a sense. They merely produce sparks, and you're all content with such trivial feats of magic? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, just having little sparks is fun. It would be so much more enjoyable if they performed grander feats. What's fun about banging on instruments so old they might as well be fossils? You could totally upgrade those. Oh my god, guys, please don't trash their, their traditions. Come on. <clears throat> Rolo just explained they are traditional implements. Using the same ones is the point. It's not about the grandeur of magic, what uh, what matters is that everyone can enjoy them. <laughs> Y'all are rude, idiot, malice dudes, yeah. The poor cleaners, yeah. Oh, true, yeah. The cleaning after this fest, oh gosh. This Inspit Festival is nothing but a gathering of shameless magic adult fools. Oh, okay. Did you say something now, Flam? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear you over the din of the festival. Oh, it was nothing. I'm sure you'll learn much from experiencing the festivities firsthand. Come on, everybody, join in the fun and get dancing. Woo! Oh, yeah, time to boogie! I'm gonna show you all my jaw dropping dance moves. Oh! And I wanna see little Fanner of Grim dancing in the fest. Oh, it's so cute. Huh? Dance me? Please tell me you're joking. That's a hard nope from me. Are you just going to sit there while everyone else is dancing? You'll stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Shroud, it would be impolite to remain seated when they invited you to take part. Dude, it would be way more cringe if I danced. <laughs> Relatable, oh my god. Are you all ready? Let's tear it up. This is a little embarrassing, but here goes. I'm with Eddie on this one, so yeah. Cute. Oh, now we get to see them dancing! Okay, yay! I wanna- Oh! Oh my god, I like this. I actually know this song, because I saw it on YouTube, and it was so catchy. Oh, Grim is so cute! And he's just standing there. Na 
Sounds like tambourines. Oops. I think I got a good no! This one's so good. Oh well. Some back. <laughs> Oh my god, Grim is- Grim can spin! Did you see that? That was cool. That's cute. <clears throat> <laughs> He's still spinning and everyone's just watching him. <clears throat> Hi, Ace, what's up? <clears throat> that was cute. Wait, Azul doesn't have his glasses on? Can he see? I don't know. Probably not. Or maybe his glasses are just fake and he just uses it for sure. I wonder, I wonder. No, I know. He said he has a prescription. Never mind. He he needs to see the glasses. So yeah. Yeah, Green was tearing it. Yeah. <laughs> it is the definition of panic in every way. Yeah. He's he be spitting like a top. He <laughs> he has context. Oh okay. Here now. I can't keep this up. All the spitting is making me dizzy. <laughs> Everyone's dazzled by me. Let's crank this party up. <laughs> hey, wait. Where'd all the tambourine sparklies go? Those tambourines are simple magical trinkets made specifically for this dance. I imagine the magic they were imbued with has run out. <laughs> it's finally over. Well, everyone, what say we wrap up here and, and join back to campus? <laughs> I'm just getting started! <laughs> I'm gonna really spice things up! Uh oh. Oh, he did little joke confetti, right? Oh. Oh. Did not, not nobody like that? Ooh, fireworks! Where are they coming from? I don't know, Gr Gr Grim can make fireworks? Oh my gosh. So, I'm so proud of him. They're so pretty and sparkly, way bigger than the ones from the tambourines. Check it out, you! Everyone's going gaga over my magic! Grim! You should know better than to just fire off magic in the streets! <laughs> You're just jealous because everyone's impressed with me! We are no such thing! You antics risk my leech losing face! <laughs> okay. okay, everybody, quiet down! It looks like some mischievous fledgling mage decided to give us a little present. And hey, this festival only comes once a year, so let's forget all our cares and party down! Oh my gosh. That was so cool! Do the fireworks again! Come on, everyone, let's dance some more! Ooh. Looks like the festival goers are happy. Good thing! I was worried like we were gonna get yelled at. I, I was I was so worried we were gonna get yelled at, and, I, and the blame was gonna be on me, because I'm supposed to be Kid Grimm's caretaker. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Good for you, Grim. Now Professor Train will let you off the hook for using magic. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Scratch that. He's totally peeved! I should think so. Someone as strict as Professor Train wouldn't just let you get away with breaking the rules. Poor Grim. He's gonna get the lecture of a lifetime when we get back to Night Raven. <laughs> oh, gosh. Still, the festival goers enjoyed it. That was a fine way to energize the event. Perhaps I could put on the performance I have prepared as well. Slow down, Malleus. You were planning to perform it at the ball, right? A special present has more impact when offered at a special time. Excuse me. If you were to get carried away by the festivities and perform it now, you'd be spoiling half the fun. Would I? Yes, absolutely. Trust me. <laughs> Don't trust him. No one else at our school can turn maximum profit for minimal effort like I can. <laughs> Personally, I kind of wish you'd forget the whole thing. <laughs> this again? You really don't know when to let something go. You're just going to have to deal with it. Then, I'll take your advice, Ashen Grotto. Instead, I'll offer a more modest blessing of fireworks. Uh-oh. I can take a yell at Malleus now? A gift from Malleus himself. You should prostrate yourselves in gratitude, humans. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's enjoying the festivities. This is wonderful. Allow me to help Malleus. Oh, oh. oh. 
Now Mal is just starting a whole thing. No! Thanks for the follow. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, burn the rattle light with the fireworks. Thank you for the idea, Mal. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> He's gonna end up bad. A gift, huh? I don't really love just giving away stuff, even if it's not worth much. But hey, a little magic's a small price to pay for a debt of gratitude. Here it goes! Uh oh. Looks like the Night Raven bo boys are on the one setting up all the f these fireworks. What a perfect time for me to join in with a little whimsical magic of my own. Check it out! Chenya, you know better than that. And again, if it's making everyone happy, maybe I should do it. I should do a little too. Yeah! <laughs> uh oh. Is this part of the social? Then let's li help liven the things up! Uh oh. Oh gosh. Regardless of how this happened, I wouldn't want Night Raven to be outdone. Uh oh. Agreed, let's show them what we're made of. Oh no, this is part of it. This just snowballed into an entire different thing. Oh. Ah, the crowd is lively and full of smiles. Marvelous. Allow me to contribute as well. Hmm, I suppose after getting the locals' hopes up, it would be poor form to disappoint them. Oh, okay, trains and joining. I've trained and joining in too. It's fine, everything's fine. Cool. Fine, I'll allow it as long as you remain on your best behavior. Certainly. I'll make sure to liven things up in an appropriate way. Pulse Warden, let's send off a big burst of fireworks together. I kind of want to see what fireworks they send off. That's so cute. Magic adult fools. The lot of them. The sight of it all sickens me. What's the matter, Flam? You should be enjoying the festivals as well. Malleus. You and many of your peers possess exceptional magic prowess. Powers, powers, whatever, however you say it. As such, you should be. Oh god, I hate when Rolo talks, I can't read. <laughs> As such, you should be circumspect in how you use it. I think. I hardly think such power is meant for archberry spectacles that inflame the public. As you say, I am indeed powerful. <laughs> Miles is like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm strong. Yeah, that's what, that's who I am, for real. <laughs> so, am I not to free to use it and bestow gifts upon the people as I see fit? Oh, 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 oh! The girls are fighting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Rolla, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? The people enjoy see you seeing our magic. That's sufficient enough reason for me. Ooh. <laughs> Come you, join us in the festivities. I'll be right over here. There. Alright. Okay. Thanks, Malleus. Please don't leave me alone with him. Okay. Alright. Magic is such a troublesome thing. Wouldn't you agree, you? Um. Well, it did bring me here, so. Troublesome is questionable. I mean, also the overblots, so. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree. I can only imagine how arduous it must be to spend your days surrounded by a gaggle of rambitious, foolhardly mages. Oh, oh! He's, he's bad mouthing in front of us? Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. The world would be much better off without magic and the chaos it brings. Surely you must have had similar thoughts? Um, not really? Magic is what makes things so fun. I'm pretty much used to the chaos by now. I'm pretty used to it by now. I mean, we how many death, near-death experiences we had? We had like a good seven. A good seven. Yeah. I'm pretty used to it. <laughs> You're used to it? Oh, you poor thing. I can't blame you for being numb to the absurdity after spending every day swimming in it. Oh. This is different. This is different. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I kind of like Rolo now because he's like, he's like kind of like sympathizing with us and not. I don't. I don't remember the last time someone sympathized with us because we're like magicless and had to do with near death experiences and overblots. So, yeah. Okay. I, I kind of like this. <laughs> the reaction is hilarious. Yeah. Mages use their magic to lead people astray and cloud the eyes of the virtuous public. It's a sad state of affairs. 
but worry not, this sad state of affairs shan't last much any longer. Uh huh? Wait, no, wait, I guys, I think Rolo's guys, Rolo, Rolo's gonna do something. <laughs> Rolo's gonna do something. Okay. I think this concerns the entire world of Twister One. Okay. Hey, you. You've got better things to do than stand around. I don't. I, I'm concerned. Okay. Check this out. I call it the Great Grim's Ultra Deluxe Golden Mega Fire. Uh oh. Oh, firework. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Yeah, it worked. What amazing fireworks! The festival this year is something else. Keep the fireworks coming, mages, and I want to s to see everybody dance. Oh gosh. <laughs> All these foolish mages. Oh. <laughs> Rolo did something stealing Rook's haircut. LOL. Rolo got points, and that then he don't got points. Oh, Rolo scares me. Yeah. Rolo, and then you have like a bunch of like emojis. So cute. I think this that is considered what we call a red flag. Yeah, he is he is sus. We we sus. Okay, our president. Okay, this is Rolo's time. <clears throat> Rolo, leave him alone. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, sure, it can be chaotic and NRC, but magic's. Ma but magic's so fun and interesting with them. Yeah, I mean, without magic, we would have not experienced any of this, I feel like. So, in a way, it's troublesome, but it's also fun. So, you know, cons and pros. Pros, <coughs> the cons, we almost die. Pros, we see handsome men. Uh, you know, uh, give or take. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Changes there. Although, art Rolo, yeah. I close my eyes. I can't see the <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, the bell. It's evening time. That sound. Alas, the nighttime bell has rung. It's time for our delightful festival to come to an end. Did everyone have some topsy turvy fun? I think so. You're always welcome to come back again. We'll see you next time at Topsy Turvy Fest. Woo! Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Boy, howdy! My cheeks hurt from laughing so much! Aww, I'm glad they enjoyed themselves. All the locals looked like they had a blast. What a great festival! Um, attention! All Arcane Academies standing the social. It's time to return to Nobel College. Ooh, okay, party's over. I feel like we're going to... Uh, I knew. I don't... I don't, I don't no, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, you're a friendly member. Um, hmm? I don't see Flam around. That's not good. He's, he's, he said something like equivalent of like ending uh, all magic in the world. Um, somebody really needs to be there. Yeah, okay. Uh, President Rolo already went back to school. I'm sure he's making preparations to welcome everybody. Oh, okay. I see. I feel bad putting him to so much trouble. Considering how many mages you're hosting, it must have taken a great effort to get things ready for today alone. Yeah, honestly, it did. And our president's been especially busy. He's worked harder than any of us to make this social happen. Say what? So, Rolo's the kind of guy who looks all chill and detached, but who secretly wants to make friends? <laughs> no, actually, he generally prefers to keep to himself. I was surprised when he brought up the idea of the social. I'm sure he did this all to open up new learning opportunities for us. He's strict with everyone, including himself, but he's very diligent. He's also so he's also self-disciplined and discreet. His grades are outstanding, he got magic in spades, and he's truly imaginative. Every student at Nobel College looks up to President Rollo. That's nice. Ooh. Is this the fireplace? Ridiculous. I love it. Magic. A blessing. A gift. Fun. Lies. I love them. 
Oh gosh. Other tribe spewed by complete fools. Any minute now he's gonna break into song for sure. <laughs> Otherwise, what am I doing this for? Oh. But I won't dwell on it. The suffering will finally be over soon enough. The time has come. Ooh. Like these flames, they engulf everything, and I shall write the sorry state of affairs. Uh oh. Guys! I don't like this. I can hardly do it. <laughs> Evil laugh, evil laugh. Someone play Hellfire for real. We should really have gotten Rolo breaking out in a twisted version of Hellfire for real. Have a twist tune of just like us in the fireplace. <laughs> um, hold on. Before I continue, oh, there is a twist tune coming. Oh, cool. Oh wait, no, it's a battle. Okay. Hold on. I just want to switch up the audio settings real quick. I noticed like this is really low. There's no voices here, so I'm just up the... Yeah, like, like, something like that. Okay, I'm good now. I noticed that the sound effects weren't really picking up as much as I wanted to pick up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Rollo is a red flag that needs to be fixed, yeah. I don't like where this is going. Me neither. Uh, Rollo, your evil is showing. <laughs> it's a little too late now. Is he singer or no? Unfortunately not, yeah. The distinctive ring. We're gonna fight him instead, probably, or something. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Ooh. I'll pick this one. I'm gonna pick. Where's my riddle? I haven't used my riddle in a while. Riddle. Riddle, riddle, riddle. There's no filters. Where's my riddle? Oh, there he is. Yep. Alright. Did you really do the 100 lessons? Yeah, I already did them. Alright. Lecture hall. <sighs> I'm beat after putting on that big show. I just want to go home. Go. I, sorry. I just want to go to my room and pass out. But I want to go home <laughs> with all that. You must wait. One of the students here asked all social participants to assemble in this hall. I think all the students from the other schools are here too. Perhaps they're going to give us our schedule for tomorrow? Oh, the bell is ringing. Huh? Is that the bell of Solas? Thanks for the follow. It must be. There's no mistaking that distinctive ring. I thought the bell only rang at morning, noon, and night. The nighttime bell has already rung. So why is it ringing this late? Hmm. Is there some sort of flame in the corner of the hall? Uh. Oh, it's a flower. Looks like a flower, actually. Oh look, there's a bunch of pretty red flowers by those pillars. I don't remember them being here there when we first arrived. They're beautiful. I've never seen anything like- <laughs> Oh god! Hello? <laughs> um... Uh, did that guy just touch the flower and collapse? Uh... What's happening? I'm getting dizzy! <laughs> oh my god! What is going on? The students near the flowers are fainting one right after another. And more flowers are popping up at an alarming rate. Uh oh. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh god. Ugh. It's not just you. I'm having dizzy spell too. It seems. Guys, guys, if you're not, if you don't start running right now, oh my god. It appears that the people closest to the flowers are fainting the fastest. What a sinister glow they have. It's enough to give me pause. Is it possible? Am I actually frightened by these tiny blooms? Oh god. No! Oh god! Er, the 
propagating flowers are climbing up my legs. No! Oh my god! What is this? Strength fading. Oh my god, Mallory! This is getting. Oh god, if Mallory goes down, we're we're doomed. We're finished. Oh my god. The more they cover me, the fainter I feel. Oh my god, this is so anxiety-inducing. Oh gosh. I fear. I may be. Oh god. <laughs> oh shoot, the knights. The knights are coming. Are you alright? I'll get these flowers off immediately. Sit tight, please. Ghastly plans, how dare you swarm our liege? Be gone and wilt! <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Silver, Sebek, came through for me. Please step back and allow us to handle this, Malleus. Mer weeds dar dare to harm the great Malleus. My magic shall obliterate you. Obliterate, 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 obliterate you. <laughs> God, I messed that up. My bad, y'all. Lily would be so proud for fat, for real. They they came rushing. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a closer. What the hell? Why the hell are the flowers in hoods? <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Um, okay, well, they're all grass type, of course, because they're flowers, so we just need fire. Yoroshi. Riddle, you are up. Actually, wait, I lied. No, Yoroshi. you're up. You're, no, well, I don't want to. They're not going to do damage to me, so I'll waste my heal. I think the hood is referenced to the movie. I think so too, yeah. I thought the flower is following them because... <laughs> they look like aliens. They're really at Disney. Hi, hi, Cora, what's up? Easy. Only one round. Only one round. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the follow. Easy peasy. I am so OP. Uh, fire, fire lotusis. What? Thanks for the follows. Okay, I just went in part three yesterday. Ooh, winner plants. <laughs> God, I love Sebek so much during battles. He's 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 such a mood. What in the world? The flowers just absorbed Sebek's magic. The more spells we fire off, the more empowered they become. Their color, the way they glow, it's almost like fire. Careful, you! There are flowers sprouting up behind you! You! Get away! We won't make it in time! You! Oh god. Is this our eighth near death experience? Oh. Hmm? Uh, nothing's happening, guys. <laughs> Looks like regular old flowers to me. <laughs> okay. What? What? They ain't doing anything? They, uh, they ain't doing anything? Great, you had me worried for over nothing. <laughs> Calm down, Grim. <laughs> so, you're alright, you? Oh, I have it. Everyone, put away your magical pens. Huh? But won't the flowers swarm us if we do that? Appel, we must listen to our wise professor. <laughs> Silver and Sebek, that goes for you as well. Do us change this. Yes, sir! Ooh, okay. We don't got magic. We invincible, finally! The flowers aren't multiplying as fast now that our pens are away. No, watch out! Everybody, get back! Oh, shoot! Wrong <laughs> Oh no! He fell defending us! Uh oh. Bill, Bill, Bill must be happy <laughs> back at home for, for no apparent reason. He's wondering why. <laughs> oh gosh, Neej! <laughs> Stick behind me, you two card soldier! Don't just stand there! Chenya, I'll never, I never ask you to cover me. I can fight! <laughs> We're all aspiring mages going to school on the same island. We gotta help each other. Ah. Get out wide, distract him! Urgh. Oh no! <laughs> they died! <laughs> oh my gosh. 
It's no use. We can't defend against these flowers. They're already surrounded us. Oh my god. This is a disaster. I must notify President Rollo. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> oh god. They're just following like dominoes. The mages are trying to fend off the flowers with magic. Are totally getting are getting totally overrun and collapsing. Oh gosh. <laughs> can't draw any in definitive conclusions from this, but it's a peace safe hypothesis to say these flowers respond to magic. Everyone, gather around me and listen carefully. Whatever you do, don't even think about using magic right now. Do you know what these flowers are, Professor? Hmm. I don't want to believe it, but given their finery appearance and ability to absorb magic, there can be no doubt. These are fire lotuses. Oh, okay. Fire lotuses? I've never heard of such flowers. Are they common on land? No, it's the first I've ever heard of them too. And I know I'd remember if I'd seen one. I can hardly blame you for not knowing about them. Even I didn't recall them immediately. They're plants that thrive on all manner of magical energy. When you say all magical energy, does that mean... Yes, that includes the magical energy of mages such as ourselves. What? When they sense magic, they reach out their vein, vines. Not veins, oh gosh. Much like other plants re react, reacting to the sun. They gr then they grow roots and absorb the magic. Okay. The continuous sap in mages' magical energy it serves as nourish nourishment to help them bloom. Okay. And once they absorb the last of the mage mage's energy, the mage loses their magic permanently. Oh! They lose their magic? Oh, this is big. Dude, that's a final boss right there! They must be the most OP enemy in all of Twisted Waterland! For real. Is a plant that horrifying growing on land? Wait, this doesn't make sense. If a plant that dangerous existed, surely we would would have learned about it in school. Fire lotuses went extinct centuries ago. As I understand it, people back then banded together to eradicate the entire species in the light of its danger. Nowadays, books on the history of magic give the plants only a passing mention, as an old legend. Precisely. That's our Malleus! Your Eridurition knows no bounds! Whatever that means, probably being smart. Yeah. That guy just never stops. But what's an extinct plant even doing here? And why is it there so much of it? That would be a better question for him. Him? Hmm. So you're still standing. I suppose your wretched academy's reputation is deserved after all. Ah, it's you! Oh gosh. Wait, so what happens when the mages, like... Loses all their magic. They still get to live, right? Oh my god. Wait, that means Chenya lost his magic? I don't think... They lose their magic for good. I just think... It takes a little bit of time to sap... The, all, the entire magical energy. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm nervous about what's ha about to happen. So let's see. At long last. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. And just when I was thinking Rolo was a, like a good person. Because he sympathized with us earlier. Like, no, this is... <laughs> never mind. I take that back. <laughs> this is, no, no overblock caused this. Except maybe Idiot. But he was close. But, you know. Anyway, anyways. Not, not, not spoilers. Not spoilers. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hmm. So you're still standing. I suppose your wretched academy's reputation is deserved after all. It's you! Yep, here he is. Rolo! Hey, no fair standing up where the flowers can't get you! Was all of this do- Was all of this your doing, Flam? Indeed. What an attitude observation considering what utter fools you are. Oh! What? 
What did you just call us? You wish me to say it again? Utter fools. All of you. Oh, oh my god, no way he's instigating. Oh god. Oh, you can scarcely imagine how hard it was to contain my laughter. As I watched you blithely indulge in your merrymaking, completely ignorant of all the fire lotuses I was sending, uh, setting out. Gosh. My, my, that was quite a predictable villain line, you know. Oh, <laughs> silence! You're the villains here! Oh, gosh. And what's more, you flaunted your magic and memorized your good citizens with it. You mages cannot be suffered to exist. But worry not. I shall bring salvation to incorrigible villains like yourselves. Oh, God. I shall engulf the world in the fiery crimson of these flowers and strip every mage in Twisted Wonderland of their magic. Say what? Oh, Malice don't like this in one bit. And there he is, folks, the secret mastermind who was controlling the final box all along. <laughs> but what kind of mastermind jumps the gun and shows up this early? Dude has like zero patience. <laughs> oh, gosh. Idiot, now is not the time. Oh my god. Could you not right now? You're ruining the moment. Strip us of our magic, but then I want to be able to become a great mage. That ain't cool. Why are you doing this? What reason could you possibly have for this? Yeah. Were these plants to spread Briar Valley, would not escape. Briar Valley would not. Oh, okay, hold on. Were these plants to spread, Briar Valley would not escape unscathed. Regardless of Flam's motivations, I cannot stand by and let this happen. <sighs> this is exactly why you're all utter fools. How dare you! Three times now you've called Malice an utter fool! <laughs> I've had it with you. Time to teach you some manners. Agreed, Rollo Flam. Prepare for battle. We can stop you without magic. Oh, with these hands, with these hands, put them up! <laughs> I'm never a fan of the brute force option, but I suppose there's no alternative when our foe can't be reasoned with. Oh shoot, isn't Azul like super, super strong? He, he got like super, super grip, because he's like an octopus. And octopus have like really good grip. Oh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, yeah. Yeah, I can't just ignore an invasive plant species. I'm going to put a stop to this before it spreads out out of control. <laughs> oh wait, no, not, it's not like a horror. <laughs> yeah. What's so amusing? Oh, you're far too late for that. My plan is already well underway. Oh, okay. When the bell of Solos rang for an unprecedented, unprecedented fourth time tonight, it suffused. It suffus su suffused the si Oh, it's. You suffuse the city with magic. Okay. Thanks for the follow. The fire notices aren't only in the school. They spread throughout the city and are sapping the energy from every mage living here. Oh my gosh. Oh, brother. What? But if he just had beef with Malleus, keep it with Malleus. Why the whole Why the whole city? Why, why you gotta take down a whole village with him, bro? I'm not gonna sleep after this, bro. <laughs> They spread throughout the city? Everyone, look outside! Uh oh. Oh god. This is horrible. This is really horrible. My word! What a sight! The flowers are growing brighter and brighter at the expense of all the people oh my god that's so dark that's so messed what why the flowers harbor no ill will i cannot possibly call them beauty wow i thought you were an honorable guy but no you're just a dirty low down punk it's on now you come down so we can throw down <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> hmm you Nightwaven College students are the only mages here still standing. What could you possibly hope to accomplish by yourselves? Oh gosh. 
By all means, struggle and fight. You'll curse your own impotence soon enough. You know what's crazy? They would have never figured out to not use their magic without us. If you weren't there, they it would have been case closed over with everybody. Isn't that crazy? Like, let's, isn't that crazy? I just realized that. That's crazy to me. Well, I wish to protect magicless people like you. You also does the same crap to the overblasted. The over yeah, he's endangering every. Well, he can't hurt us because we're, we're magicless. But you know, still must very very messed up. He's doing what he did. Oh, what's that? Uh, what was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear anything. I definitely hear something. It's a faint mechanical. S Whoa! It's getting louder. Oh! What was that? Hmm? Allow me to invite you someplace more fitting so you can channel your energies appropriately. Chant what? Oh! The floor is gonna fall in! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Shoot! Guys, fly! Fly, please! You have magic, fly, please! Oh no, I'm falling. Help! Oh my god. Near death experience number 10. <laughs> How many? What? What? No! Help! Please! You! <laughs> oh god. There we go. Oh god. Um. Is that it? Oh. We, we just. We just. We just straight up died? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't do an evil laugh right now. I can't. Just pretend I'm doing a really good evil laugh. We'll be finally be rid of it. And those accursed mages with malice draconia foremost among them. They'll all be finished. Enjoy your time down below. Though I think you'll find it quite draining. A long last, I shall finally meet out my justice. Oh god. <laughs> yep. My nose. That was... That was crazy. Also... <clears throat> what the hell? Rolo... Rolo really went from... Going... Like, being very respectful and understanding about our situation with, like, magic and overblotters and being very, you know, sympathizing with us and pitying us to literally killing us. So what is the difference between him and the overblotters? There is no difference. I'm I take back everything good I said about Rolo. I actually hate him right now. I do not sympathize with him at all right now. Thanks for the follow. My god. <laughs> More puns. Oh gosh. I love Melius. He's doing the crap they did. Exactly, right? My gosh, you was about to beat him, beat him, beat him up for real. I'm so disappointed. Getting rid of the plants. Oh, brother. Another battle? I'm really scared. I, I don't know. Isn't this the only event, too, that we have, like, a near-death experience? Like, other events, I don't remember having near-death experiences. Like, this is the very first event we had a near-death experience. Crazy. Crazy. Not even, um... The Halloween ghost ones. That wasn't really a near-death experience, really, for us. It's just this one. Uh, <clears throat> we get water. <clears throat> Please, Mally, save me, Pichi. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. And at least, at least, Mally said at least was worried for us, for real, yeah. Oh, God, we're still following. Oh gosh. I must protect my students. Everyone, brace for impact. Oh my god, this must be the worst situation Train had to be put in. Oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh god. <laughs> Oof, out. Yep, landed right on my butt. Is everyone alright? Why? Why can't we see everything? What is, are we good? I think I'm okay. Oh my god. 
I thought I was a goner. I'm glad everyone's okay. I'm glad everyone's okay. I'm used to being like a goner almost all the time, so. Looks like those who could, couldn't could handle their own landing are unharmed, thanks to Professor Train. Nicely done, Professor. Naturally, I landed fine on my own by applying a, a bit of wind magic. Why don't you help us, Azul, then? <laughs> why? Why are you bragging right now? I, we almost died! <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm. I should really back in. Azul's nice, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why suck up now, bro? Is this real? <laughs> Speak for me, Nia. Speak for me. Oh my gosh. Trey Sensei is so dependable. Yeah, bro. How far did we fall? We fell. I, I recognize this place. We're like back in the back in the underground tunnels or whatever this is. Oh my god! <laughs> For real though, so this would be our third death experience so far. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh, I see the fire lotuses have reached here as well. Where are we anyway? There are way more flowers down here. They're covering everything. It's as if the ground is on fire. So that was his plan? Drop us into a pit of flowers to drain us quicker? How cowardly can that human be? We have to f we have to do something about the flowers. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. We have to do something about the flowers. We cannot let them get malice again. But they grow by absorbing magic. You can't use magic to destroy them. How will you handle them? Fight fire with fire? I don't know. <laughs> it might not occur to you, occur to you, considering the abundance of magic you were born with. But non mages have their own methods of get for for getting rid of plants. Oh gosh, getting rid of plants? Oh, I think I see what you're getting at. Want to fill in the want to fill in the rest of us? I think what he means is. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. Even I can do that. It's a laborious, laborious task, but it needs doing. All right. Is everyone ready? All right. Here we go. Ooh, everyone looks ready. If we don't want the plants to suck up all our magic, then it's time to get picking. We picking time! Woo! Pruning the flowers, yeah! Roll is playing 4D chess, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Spec only preparing for values? <laughs> Are we surprised? Are we surprised by that, yeah? <laughs> Alright. We're gonna fire, we're gonna die. We're gonna fight, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, it's. Oh, okay, it's grass this time? <laughs> grass and water? <laughs> right. You know what to do? <laughs> If I don't end this in a, in a one round, I'll be disappointed. I agree, the wind magic used for landing could have been disastrous. Yeah. We gardening. Gardening. Uh, no, he's smart. Rollo is smart. He knew he, they would use magic to protect themselves, trigger the flowers below. Oh, right. Oh shoot, that is really smart of him. Wow, I never I didn't catch that. One shot. Yeah. Your forms are all wrong. Forms? Who who's caring about forms now? Um uh, don't matter who I pick. I'm gonna just pick this. Wait, no, that's the guess. Ah, whatever. Okay. Mm. As long as Chinya is being saved, I'm happy. Oh, okay. <sighs> Can't ping it. My paws hurt from pulling up all these plants. I typically prefer picking stalks, not stalks. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Did you get it, guys? Wow, good one. <laughs> mm. Did, Did I miss RSA being featured or something? Yes, you missed them, bro. It was crazy. It was crazy. We got some cameos. I must say, doing weeding at my age wreaks havoc on my back. Oh, poor Trey! <laughs> poor professor. 
This is a new experience for me. I never knew picking plants was such a, a taxing endeavor. And every time I think I have things well in hand... Malice, look out! More flowers at your feet! It's nerve-wracking to constantly make sure you don't get entangled, not to mention time-consuming. Yeah, I'm about at my limit too. My sanity is gonna go bottom out before my MP does. <laughs> Come on, guys. You gotta pull with your legs. Your form's all wrong. Those stands ain't gonna come loose if you all keep stooping down with your bags. Get down in the dirt. <laughs> dirt, dirt, <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I love how these two are like telling them out. That's so funny. Ah, I just love reading. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an unserious response. <laughs> desperate times calls for desperate measures. That's funny, I'm gonna just say that. <laughs> what? I won't be outdone by any human. <laughs> oh god. Oh shoot. <laughs> Tell him about yeah! You what kind of weed you getting? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. okay. The two who actually don't labor for real. But we have we have them. Okay. Um I can't do another. Yoroshi. Do I have a zoo one? I don't have an Azul one. Okay. So I'll just do one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Last deadly on the season, <laughs> yeah. Deadly blame. Oh, what? It didn't kill in one shot? That's so sad. Because I didn't use duo, did I? Damn. So <clears throat> okay. Is this Masquerade event or Brooks? It's Masquerade. Hi, Gia. Okay, guys, that was my big care from. Excuse Someone tried to scam his head. Oh, yeah. I just don't ever answer the phone, ever. <clears throat> Also, I don't interact with people that I don't know, so, yeah. Cameras are just, like, everywhere nowadays. I feel bad. Sorry, Farah. Um, I'll pick the heck out of them, yeah. Can we all agree that Professor Chain should be resting? This isn't good on his back. For real, I'm surprised they- Oh, I guess it's really desperate. They need, like, everybody who can pull, will pull. But, yeah. Feel bad for Chain. Like, Moss Flame. Okay. <clears throat> Too bad he can't read these stocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Did they do it? Yeah. It was in person? Oh, okay. Yeah. Have we cleared the area? I've done weeding before, but it still wears me out. Um, guys, Professor Strain is still crouching on the ground over here. <laughs> no, please. Please get someone. Let him rest, please. That's so messed. That's so messed up. He is? You're right. Are you okay, Professor? Back's too stiff. Can't get up. Oh, poor chain. Oh. Sheesh. A few weeds and you guys are crying, Uncle. Ruggy! That's an old man! <laughs> He's 65! <laughs> or something. I don't know how old he is. The smallest kids would handle this kind of job back in the slums. I'm so worn out, I don't even have the energy to get annoyed at your weird weeding flex. <laughs> I'm with you guys. I used to do weeding all the time in the orchards back home. Back home, but these fire lotuses have long, strong roots. They ain't no garden variety weeds. Indeed, they are not. Uprooting even one is an arduous task. You said that people eradicated these plants long ago. How did they achieve that feat? Their methods have not been passed down in our lore. Damn. But considering how swiftly these flowers multiply, I doubt they did it by picking them one by one. To think a plant species could propagate so quickly, even down here, with no sunlight. What a bothersome bloom. Justice for train, yeah, justice for train. The most responsible adult we've ever got, yeah. Ah, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I believe it leads outside. I'd like to find out where we are. Let, let us step outside and see. In the waterway. Wow, the moon's so bright. Oh, this is the same waterway we visited earlier today. Ooh. 
So we dropped from the noble lecture hall into the underground waterways. Waterways? Oh yes, I read that there's a network of underground channels across the whole city, so this is one of them. No bell college looks to be right above us. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say Rolo kept those kept the flyer Lotus is prepared for his plan in this very waterway. Hmm, he would have needed ample time and resources to revive an extinct flower. This area is concealed from view and close to the school. It would have been easy to hide the plants here. If this is where the flowers started growing, it would make sense the waterway is teeming with them. I don't know where Rolo gets his hands on the seeds of an extinct plant, but boy, talk about classic villain move. That guy does not disappoint. <laughs> okay. Oh god, the screams. What's with these flowers? They just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, what? Someone help! My family's covered in red flowers and they won't wake up. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! No, this is this is a different level type of evil. Like no no overblotter did this. Wow, that is Okay. Yeah, yeah no, that's really mess. This is this is this is yeah! No, stay back! Ah. Ah. Okay. I can hear the taunts look screaming. It's late. Most people would be winding down for the night. They were probably caught completely unawares. All the mages in town must be getting attacked. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating! I don't get it. Why is Rolo so angry with mages? Or maybe I should ask what happened to make him feel this way. How should we know? And why should we care? <laughs> Since he views mages with such disdain, doesn't that mean he hates himself? He's one of us too! Of course, the logic of such a twisted human being would elude us. Given the depths of his hatred, I suppose the social was all part of his diabolical scheme as well. What? It only makes sense. While we don't know the reason why Rolo clearly despised mages, he must have planned to use the Fire Lotuses to dis disempower students from every Arcan Academy in one fell swoop. Soup. Uh, soup. 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 I had soup today. It was good. <laughs> and we walked right into his trap, blissful blissfully ignorant all the while. Damn. Is this live? Yeah, what's up? Spec really, really want to talk for real. <laughs> good boy Silver trying to look deeper at the problem. Yeah. At least the overblotters kept it contained in NRC or in Idia's case, home. Yeah! <laughs> this, this is a really different type of evil. Like, he's targeting, like, a whole village. And this could actually spread outside of the village, so even more lives could be in danger. Yeah, this... Yeah. For what type of soup? I had chicken noodle soup. It was really good. I, I really like the noodles it had. And then soup. And I had crackers with it. It was really good. Good combo. Rolo, you need help, bro. For real. I, I, I can't even imagine what the reason is. Because this is insane to me. Alright, anyways. Like moss to a flame, huh? From where Rolo was standing, we must, must have looked like a bunch of brainless worms. Yes, as much as it's charging me to admit, he was right. We were completely in utter fools. Okay, but like... I kind of think he was targeting Malleus from the start. Yeah, right, because he made that comment earlier, yeah. <clears throat> See, my, my, it, that's, that's my, my, my number one question. If he was just wanted to target Malleus, why didn't he just target Malleus in the first place and, like, seclude him? Why does he have to target him and everybody else? This is like a random school drama now, quite like. This is, this is more than school drama now. This is more than school drama. Everyone in this game needs therapy except Kaleem and Trey. They're the, they're the therapy friends. No, Kaleem needs therapy and Trey also needs therapy to, because Kaleem is always in denial about his true feelings and Trey has um, issues with his childhood and he has immense skills. So they need to work out. Everybody needs therapy. <laughs> they need to work it out. 
Oh, you pee. I finally made it in a stream. Hey, what's up? Well, did ask specifically for Malice to go. Yeah. Nah, Kaleem needs it. Yep, yep, I agree. Maybe Dragon Dude deserve this. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, this could be on True Crimes, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but like, I kind of think he was targeting Malleus from the start. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Malleus is foremost among the mages at our school, and the rest of the world, really. It wouldn't surprise me if the social was a smokescreen, orchestrated for the sole purpose of bringing down Malleus. So this whole time, the social was just bait. To catch the biggest fish of all, Malleus! <laughs> He's so happy saying that. Oh, I believe you've both made your point abundantly clear. You can stop hammering at home now. Yeah, please. <laughs> like, like you're basically saying, oh, <laughs> into Malleus' face, oh my god, he wanted you dead, blah, 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 blah. He's, he's aiming for you. Okay. Um, Malleus, are you okay? He's been frowning this whole time. I can't blame him. I mean, you could say that we all we were all dragged into this mess because of him. Maybe he feels responsible. This whole discussion about roles and tension is pure speculation on our part. Even if it was true, Malleus has broken no rules. He has no reason to feel guilty. <laughs> brittle, <laughs> brittle. People don't have to break rules to get murdered. <laughs> Sometimes people get murdered just to get murdered because like they hate him. Oh god. I know how that sounds, but from Mr. Zero Eq- uh, I mean, Taskmaster Riddle, um, it's not just empty consolation. Cons consolation? I guess, yeah. He probably says the same thing if he were in Malice's shoes. <laughs> True, though I don't get the sense Riddle or Malice are that upstanding. Something like this wouldn't make either of them feel guilty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's flowers behind Malleus! More of them? What mysterious plants? Malleus, get away! Why is he grinning now? What? What is he planning, Malleus? <laughs> Malleus? Now I see. Everything he said was a lie. Oh! Oh, this is very bad. <laughs> Shoot, what happened? Malleus is angry. Oh, shoot, he's, he's smiling and he's angry. Oh, I don't want to mess with him. Everybody stand back. Angry? I thought he was sad. The social, the personal invitation to me. It was all pure deception. Oh, that's what he had beef. That's what he has beef with. Getting invited. <laughs> he, oh, all oh, right. It was the pure intentions behind that invitation. Oops. A ploy to lure me into a trap. You'll pay for this. You will pay, Rolo Flam. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. He is big man. Now's not the time to be goofy. <laughs> Please, he's gonna he's, he's striking lightning from the sky, and idiot comes to his big man. Oh my god, English localization. I love you. I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> there, you see? Remind me, who's part of the silly notion that he was a sucker who felt guilty? <laughs> oh, Roy, these dragons. What an anguish cry he has. It makes my own heart tremble. Uh, I don't think that's your heart trembling. It's literally the ground. Malice was overjoyed to be personally invited to the social. He insisted on making extra preparation. He insisted on making extra preparations and reading everything he could about Fleur City. Yes, and he eagerly counted down the days until our trip by marking them on his calendar. Oh, I feel I'm so sad. It's so sad. What the hell? Now that's all his hopes have been dashed. His sorrow must be unfathomable. Oh, what a heartrending sight. We're in mortal danger and that's what he's mad about? I thought I had been issued a genuine invitation. 
You shall pay dearly for this. Oh god. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's so over for Rolo. Case closed. I can't with these boys, right? Not you I can't take nothing serious with them, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah. Can one of the Nally Sims calm you mentally? <laughs> True. Oh my god. Mask can be invited to my birthday party for real. Please. Please put the lightning away. This isn't you, Mally. <laughs> it's a fact he never gets invited to anything. No, he got invited to um um uh that uh VDC. So there's hope for him, there's hope for him. Oh gosh. See, my dad would be either they to hug Malice or run away. <laughs> oh gosh, Malice is so. He's just a silly little guy. He really is. Hugging you, yeah. Meanwhile, Malice ignores Rook's birthday invitation. It's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it's Rook. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, to be fair, it is Rook. When is his birthday? I feel like his birthday's coming up soon, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, he's still angry. Oh, my first standing on end! It's Static City over here! Uh, he's raining so much power, I can't move. Feels as though anyone who took a step toward him right now would get sight flying back to Earth! Oh, okay. That's not helping. You need to, he needs to calm down. He needs to calm down. He's this at once, Draconia. All this power will draw in more flowers. Let's just... Take a deep breath. Keep calm, Horton. Oh god. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Please. Look, more flowers. Scores of them. Malice, please stop. You're putting all of us in danger. These weeds. Boy. They will all rue the day they mocked me. Oh god. Whoa. up so much dirt i got a bunch of it in my mouth oh gosh oh my god he needs a hug right now i feel so bad for him Bro, i can't see it with all this dust an incredible power deuce everyone are you all right yeah i think so but what about malleus that burst of power the flowers must have devoured him oh no no Say it is, it's so <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> He's so dramatic, I love him so much. Oh my god, thanks for the follow. Huh? You see? I'm perfectly fine, as you can see. Jeez, don't scare us like that. How could you be fine after all those flowers swarmed you? My word! Everyone, look around, Malleus. Everyone, look around, Malleus. Ooh, okay. What? 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 Oh, the flowers are gone! Okay. <laughs> what is this now? Bro threw, a, bro threw a tantrum and said what? Bro, mood, honestly? I, I, I shift from like being really, really, really sad to being like, that was silly. What was all that about? And just walk away. That's such a movie. <laughs> um, the Fire Lotus is art. Wilted? Yeah, we're all safe and sound, but... Draconia! How could you forget yourself in a fit of peak? 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 Yeah, okay, whatever. Have I not repeatedly outlined how Night Raven College students are expected to always remain calm and maintain power proper? Draconia! I don't know what just say! Oh, if anything had happened to you, I don't know what I- WHAT I could have done! Oh my god. Malice, I must say that you never give in to your anger and expose yourself to danger like that again. Glad you're okay. You had me so worried. We're done. I like how we keep using the nickname with him. It's so cute. We- When I saw the rest of you in panic, it helped me calm down somewhat. And so no, never make Malice mad. Like- Ever. Agreed. I like being alive. Thank you very much. But why did the flowers wilt? Draconia, care to explain what you did? It wasn't intentional. I simply unleashed my full magical might. 
it wasn't intentional. <laughs> but the fire lotuses leave leaves are clearly drooping. Some of them have yellow as well. Something damaged them. I've seen similar things happen to plants back at home in Scalding Sands. The temperature is directly drastically different during the day than it is at night. When someone sets out plants during the day and forgets to bring them in at night, a frost forms on them and they wilt like this. Frost, you say? Considering Malice's power, it's possible. Perhaps you froze them when you unleashed your might. I don't recall doing anything of the sort. <clears throat> then how? You know, I think I know what happened. Hmm? What was that, Flamir? Have you identified the cause? Um, yes, sir. I think so. The same thing happened to some veggie seedlings. I was growing back at home. Going by just the symptoms, it looked like Frost had got him, just like Jamil described. But when I looked into it more, I found out it wasn't Frost at all. The seedlings had wilted because of fertilizer burn. Oh shoot, this is this is way above my head. I don't do gardening at all. Fertilizer burn? Yep. Too much fertilizer can mess with the plant's roots. It can cause them to decay or get all mishap misshapen. I bet the roots of these flowers look the same. See here? The roots of the flowers you just pulled out are black and dis disintegrating. <clears throat> yeah, please, please, no uh, spoilers for book, se uh, book 7. I have not. Book 7 has not been released in Ian. So anything that has not been released in Ian. Please do not spoil for the rest of us. Thank you very much. That's all I ask. Okay. Exactly. I think that's what wilted the fire lotuses. Trith bien. What a fantastic knowledge you've shown, Appel. I couldn't be more proud of my fellow dormant. <laughs> oh, it's just because I grew up on an orchard, orchard around lots of plants and stuff. Aww. I beg to differ. It was an incisive insight drawn uh, from personal experience. Fine work, familiar. The fire lotuses absorb all kinds of magic. In this case, the eager they eagerly devoured all the power of Draconia Radiant. And as a result, they became overnourished and decayed naturally. Well, that makes dealing with them way easier. If our esteemed companion here just unleashes one of his absurdly powerful spells, we can make all the fire lotuses in town wilt at once, right? Sounds easy enough to me! I'm afraid that's not feasible. Fortunately, most of my power was absorbed during our initial encounter with the flowers in the lecture hall. What?! I guess that explains why they spread so fast. Okay, then what are they gonna do? I don't- I have no idea what they're gonna do. That's crazy. That's insane. Pretty sure most of Ian plays Sauce Boys for Chapter 7 at this point. Yeah, but I, I don't want to, like, be contributing to that. So just please, please no spoilers. Level them up by doing lessons. Yeah, just have lessons running when you're doing homework or work, you know, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse is, like, lost, like, 0.2% power. Yeah. Yeah, it's got nerfed for real. Yeah. Um. Pell with farm knowledge. Yeah, good thing the boys have a farmer with them. For real, yeah. Over water, pretty much? Oh, okay. Indians are going, no thanks. I choose life. Yeah, basically that's what they said. He took his anger out on the flowers. Yeah, Sebek is the biggest ham in Twister Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, these guys are gonna try and brute force the flowers in existence. Oh, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Okay. Are you alright, sir? I'm not under any great strain, but it will take longer than usual for me to cast spells. When we fell into the waterway, I tried to safeguard you as my friend can't use magic. Oh! But I couldn't control my magic as normal. I couldn't even levitate as I usually can. It will take some time for me to recover. My power alone will be enough to eliminate the fire lotuses in the city as things stand. Makes sense. These flowers aggroed Malleus right away in the lecture hall. Yes, it's only because he's Malleus and he's still standing right now. Any other mage would have long since been sucked dry if the many flowers had got them at once. Those wretched plants and Pearson's nose, no bounce! It might not be feasible with just Malleus, 
But what if we all combine our magic? Oh my god, are we gonna all gonna like all hold hands in a circle and like combine our magic? Oh my god. Friendship friendship time. Who? Us? Are you <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? Who says that? In real life. Are you serious? Okay, uh let me give you a metaphor. If Malice's magical power is a 25 meter pool, each of ours would be a water bottle. No, not even that. We would be a bottle's cap worth. The rest of us combined wouldn't couldn't even reach half his power. <laughs> God. Pulling our magic for some fancy combo attack? Please. We're in a drop in the bucket compared to him. <laughs> I like how the game immediately shut down friendship as magic here. <laughs> I wouldn't describe my power that generously. No, he's right. He possessed me. Immense power, Malleus. We can never hold a candle to you. <laughs> this isn't a competition, but the point does stand. And I guess we gotta stick to weeding them in an old-fashioned way. Out of the question, it was hard enough to clear the ones around here. We couldn't cover the whole city. We'd never be able to keep up with how fast they spread that way. The flowers would swarm us in a second. It'd be lying. It'd be like laying out a banquet for them. True. Then what else can we do? Oh, what if we burn them without using magic? That take that that'll take care of them fast, right? Deuce, you know how far they spread throughout the town? If we set them on fire, the flames will spread and burn down the whole city. That'd be just as bad. Oh, right. <laughs> Poor Deuce. <laughs> Can we ask Night Raven College and others outside the city for help? There are still unconscious students in the lecture hall, you know. Their magic is being sapped as we speak. If we don't act fast, the flowers will drain them of their magic completely, and they'll never regain it. Oh, shoot. Judging by how rapidly I could feel my own power being drained, we have hours at most. We can't afford to wait for help. Oh, this is, this is serious. We cannot allow one man's nonsense to deprive those two young students of their futures. We have to do something. This is like the equivalent of like crippling somebody for like life. Essentially, right? Into a Sir Wonderland without magic, you're basically Yeah, you're basically you you miss out on a lot of things, honestly. I don't know, I mean I personally couldn't care less about what happens to the world so Rocky Yeah, they kinda brought it on themselves. We could just go home right now. Oh my god You fools! Don't you realize why you're still even standing? Because Rural Sword Academy students sacrificed themselves so you could make it out unscathed. To think that you would turn your backs on them so easily. I. I. Oh, where did I go wrong in teaching you? I've always espoused the importance of Tarakurum, and yet. Oh, I feel bad betrayed! I'm sorry, we're all natural villains! Oh, God. Oh, oh. Wow, we have destroyed this man in like one day of this field trip, bro. He really does need a pay raise, yeah. Now you know how we feel about these poses, trained, yeah. Brutal. Well, there are plenty of people in Twist without magic, yeah. <laughs> but most of most of Twister when I like, runs on magic, especially like Briar Valley, where like there, all there is is magic. So I I couldn't imagine what it'd be like for Briar Valley. <laughs> Poor train. I'm so sorry that rugging grim are jerks. Yeah. Oh god. He needs a good retirement life. For real. No life. I saw him cry. I cried too. For real. Me too. Uh, thanks for the follow. Whoa. Train's crying. Dude. Apologize to him, Ruggy. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> you, you, Eddie, you should apologize too. The hell? Wait, me? What you said was way worse. You're both terrible. There are many victims left unconscious, with the flowers indiscriminately draining their magic. <laughs> right now, the blooms are still within the city limits, but uh, within the city limits, but they will spread further before long. <laughs> oh God! And when that happens, they'll endanger those we care about. Professor Train's right. It falls to us to wipe out the fire lotuses. Yes, I suppose so. While I also don't care about anyone from Royal Sword Academy, I can't stand the notion of leaving a debt unpaid. Okay, fair. It bugged me if a ton of the if a, it bugged me a ton if those sparkly normies saved us and we didn't even 
even it up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're totally right, Azul. We, you gotta pay back debts in kind. <laughs> That's the spirit. The last thing I need is them invoicing us for medical expenses because they saved us. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what he cares about. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Besides, gentlemen, think about it. We could have a whole bevy of mages in our debt. Oh, oh god. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Let me let me give me some some water. <laughs> oh god. Normies, Azul, priorities, please. No, this is his number one priority at all times. It doesn't care if he, it, it it doesn't matter if he's like near death, exp um, you know, experiencing near death. It doesn't matter if he's experiencing near death experiences. Money is number one, always. How could we possibly let such a golden opportunity slip through our fingers? God. Here we go. The Zul's bizarre idea that it's okay to take an L if you get some kind of dub out of it. That's not a high healthy mindset, you know. Bizarre? I resent that. I only do this sort of thing when I expect an ample return. It's called an investment. Gosh. Economy 101, folks. Economy 101. <laughs> it's oddly reassuring how your priorities never change, Azul. I share all of your sentiments. I haven't had the slightest intention of walking away from this affair. I won't be satisfied until I can strike down Rollo Flam for deceiving me. Absolutely. I couldn't possibly leave the city until he grovels before you and begs for your forgiveness, my liege. Oh god. Agreed. You need to teach Rollo that what he's doing isn't right. <gasps> two, <laughs> two different reasons, two different motivations right here. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. The song is, so, is a bop. I know, right? This is like. If I had to choose one Twisted One on the OST, it has to be this one and Make a Wish. Like, these are my two favorite. Uh, soundtracks of all time. I love it. It's so, I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel like I can bite somebody. Probably could. <laughs> yeah. So let's put our heads together and think of a plan to save everyone. So we're going to be passive advice. Yeah. <laughs> save? Something about that word is nagging me. I can't think of anything. It's, uh, it's nagging me a bit, yeah. Hmm? What's up, you? <laughs> I take it you've connected the dots as well, you? You're all making this much harder than it needs to be. The fastest way to eradicate the fire lotuses is to induce them with magic until they wilt. Okay. But as we establish, our group doesn't have the power to do that on our own. So we'll just use an alternate power source. They need to add the sentry to the Spotify. For real, they do. For once, I'm on the same page as the book. <laughs> um. Silver didn't fall asleep yet? No, he didn't. Use the bell. Yeah, the bell. Real convincing, bub. Okay, before I, I do this, I'm gonna go get a drink of water. Because my cup is empty. I'll be right back. <clears throat>
Hello, I'm back. Of course, my phone always goes. I need to fix that. All right. <clears throat> Alright, it's 10 o'clock for you too? Me too, it's 10 o'clock. Zimir, I can't hear the audio. Oh yeah, because my phone was asleep, so it turns off the audio. Alright. <clears throat> it's already been two hours? It really- Oh my god, it really has been. What the hell? Jeez. Yeah. Chibi Rose, can you though? It's time for your people. Oh my god, please, please get some sleep, bro. I feel so guilty. <laughs> I need to stream earlier. I really do. Okay. Zul can make a record great again. What? What the hell happened when I was gone? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Did you guys get water? Did you guys get water too? Okay. Hmm. Duh, duh, duh. Never. I will never sleep. Oh gosh. No, we don't need Azul running for president. I think Azul's the last person that needs to run for president, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see here. Real convincing bub. I have root bean water. Great, great combo. Love that. I'll keep watching until you end the stream. Okay. Uh, I hope it ends soon then, because I don't want to keep you guys up. Okay. The fastest way to eradicate the fire lotuses is to indict them with magic until they wilt. But we've established our group doesn't have the power to do that on our own. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll just use an alternate power source. But who could we turn to? For such power when practically all the mages in the city are incapitated. And there are a few mages with magical reserves on par with our own. We have we'd have to gather hundreds of them. I'm surprised. You still don't get it? Dude, Malleus, you're powerful and all, but seriously? <laughs> are you mag are magic pools the be all and end all to you? I didn't peg you as an Ungabunga brute force kind of guy. <laughs> no way, he actually said Ungabunga. Oh my god, I love, I love, I love video. I love video. <laughs> Did you just mock my leash? <laughs> Look, I mean, come on. If you can't do something yourself, wouldn't you normally use a tool of some kind to get the job done? <laughs> Isn't using tools to make things easier the mark of intelligent life? Tools? It's a real handy one, just begging to be used. You know, a magical artifact that sends magic all over the city. All over the- Ah! The Bell of Solas! Bingo! <laughs> Remember what Rolo said when we first got attacked in the lecture hall? When the Bell of Solas rang for a fourth time, it suffered- it's, uh, Not suffered, it suffused the city with magic. Cue smug face emoji. <laughs> just got it. I need. I need to put like a counter, like somewhere of like all times. Idiot makes like so many funny, <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny, funny counter. Uh, funny localization English, whatever slang. I, I whatever this is. Whatever this is, I love it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> Normally, the bell rings three times a day. <laughs> So rolling it for a fourth time to amp up the magic and make the flowers grow like wildfire. Of course, you're right. All the flowers popped up in the lecture hall immediately after the bell rang, which means... <laughs> now you got it. One extra ring is enough to make the flowers grow super fast. Oh, gosh. So if you ring it a bunch of... So if you ring it a bunch and fill the city with even more magical power... What do you think is gonna happen to all of those precious flowers he spent so long carefully cultivating? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh gosh! The city would be even more saturated with magic, and the flowers would get overwhelmed and wilt. To think that's what causes them to flourish would also be their demise. It's exactly like Appel's description of fertilizer burn. So we'll supply the the necessary magic with a tool rather than our own power. It's true that I normally never consider that kind of option. There are very few instances where my magic isn't sufficient for a task. Wish I could say that once in my life. <laughs> oh, poor deuce. Very well, let us head for the Bell of Souls and ring it right now. I think not all of you are to wait here. Huh? Oh yeah, we're responsible adult time. I will climb the bell tower and ring the bell of solace. Since we've cleared this area of fire lotuses, it's safer than anywhere else. 
All of you stay here until the bell has rung. Professor Train, you shouldn't strain yourself. Oh. What do you mean by that? He's been stooped over this whole time. My father does the same thing when his back hurts. <laughs> oh, Lily. <laughs> Poor Lily. <Lilia. laughs> oh. Wait, so he hurt his back? Must have been from all that weeding. Oh, I have not. Yeah, real convincing, bub. Professor, why would you push yourself like that? You should have told us you're in pain. He has pride as a professor. It's only natural he wouldn't want his students to see him in a moment of weakness. So you're just trying to save face? Come on, professor. Pride ain't worth a single sor sor cent. But. The Bell of Solace is on top floor of the tower. The way the way up is bound to be infested with fire loses. It'll be dangerous getting up there. You make you make our case for us, Train. You would climb the stairs far too slowly since you're in pain. The flowers would consume you in seconds. Allow us to handle this. Please do. We're not afraid of danger. Uh, we're not afraid of the danger. We've learned from the best, after all. Here, here he goes, sucking up again. But this is sweet this time. Uh, I don't like where this is going. This is gonna end with us having to climb the tower, isn't it? Oh, I'm having flashbacks to when Idiot and Zul had so much trouble going up the stairs. <laughs> this is not good for them. Oh my gosh. Poor Professor Train. He cares so much for his students and wants to seem strong for them. He's a good teacher, Crowley. Better give him a dang raise after this. For real. A good raise. A good retirement uh, plan or whatever. Danger. I laugh at the face of danger. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> he won't. Yeah, he won't. Unforge. Reunforge. Where shall I begin? Okay, let me read a little bit before I start. Um, do you think the gargoyles will help or stop us? Oh yeah, they did move. I wonder. I wonder what they're gonna do. You might get hurt by Rolo if they try to ring the bell or maybe magic person must ring it. I don't know. I do not know. I don't think the bell. The bell can be used by anyone, I feel like. Train deserves the fattest retirement check. For real. I'm full of energy, so I'll bring that bell. Yeah. Mm. Let us go where magic list, so we'll be fine. Yeah, if anything, we should go. We'll, we'll be peachy. Um, train being the only responsible staff member with... But bro, please rest. Yeah. I feel so bad. Uh, call it as it is loca localization cringe. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's funny. Okay. <clears throat> Idiot can really use the exercise. Dude barely leaves his man cave. Oh please! Yeah, thanks for following. I knew that they needed to use the bell. You called it. Oh, nice, nice looking. I didn't. I did not expect that. I thought they were gonna like do something else. I thought they were like gonna use fire, like deuce. But then I realized, oh, they could just burn the city down. Oops. Um, <laughs> if you go, then who will take care of Train? Um, I think one Riddle, somebody, and one of the other people that have magic. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, this is just train needing a break. Yeah, basically. Train deserves a vacation for this? Yep, 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 yep. Where shall I begin? Here we go. Hey, this is strangely reminiscent of the story of the righteous judge and the kindly bell ringer. I'm sure the righteous judge was incredibly worried when the kindly bell ringer was trying to avert the castro cat catastrophe. But he chose to have faith in his dear pupil and let him go, and so the city was saved. As your teacher and chaperone, I'd much prefer if you didn't endanger yourselves. But I suppose I must have faith, as the great man once did. You can rest assured that we shan't disappoint. Were you not Professor Train, for I shall protect Malleus. Uh, mind giving us a little of that protection too? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry for Sebex Land Commanders. You all have my protection, of course. Aw, Silver's so sweet. It's fine. We should all be looking out for ourselves anyways. That's how I prefer it. If you're worried, Ruggy, you could always stay behind with Professor Train. None of us would hold it against you. <laughs> oh, in that case, maybe I should... I wasn't speaking to you. As a house warden, it's your responsibility to help. <laughs> oh, poor idiot. <laughs> Actually, I'll be going to aid the mages in town once you set off. Wait, what? 
But the city's overrun with flowers. It's too dangerous. Professor, you hurt your back, did you not? You should lie down and put some ice on it. Suddenly feel decades older. Don't worry, climbing those stairs might be too much for me, but I can handle get rid of some flowers. Professor, I know you're quite capable, but I do question whether you'll really be safe in town. Well, if you're all that concerned, you, Grim. Hmm? You, since you have no magic pool to speak of, the flowers present no danger to you. And Grim, you're nimble and could easily avoid the flowers. I'd like both of you to join me in helping the townspeople. Oh my god, we're useful for once! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Okay. Aw, man, you really asking me? I don't know. Really? Grim, come on, sign me up. Sure, gotta take care of my elders after. Oh, yeah. I don't care for your wording there, but I choose to believe you meant well. Oh, <laughs> my bad, bad choice. That was kind of rude, wasn't it? Oops. Oh god, I love how now all of our choices actually have an effect on the dialogue now. That's so funny. Oh god. That just leaves you, Grim. <laughs> uh, hey, Grim! Uh, are you gonna let you hog all the spotlight? If the three of you save the city, you'll probably be celebrated as heroes like the kindly bell ringer. Isn't that right, you? <laughs> oh, here we go. I can hear the cheers now. Squeeze! Grim's a close so one I can't even cheers now. Woo! Grim rocks my socks off! Oh my god, both of them are so corny. I'll pick this one though. <laughs> okay, okay, we all know it's true, but you're making me blush. Oh, fine. Guess someone's gotta bail out rickety old train and my hench human. Oh my god, rickety old <laughs> Rickety is wild. <laughs> Ooh boy, so it's either gold for the bell or help in town. Both sound rough. Oh my gosh. In that case, guess I better suck it up and stick with Team Bell Tower. Oh well, I appreciate your change in attitude, but why choose us? More human shields- I, I mean, the more there are, the better the my odds of survival are. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh my god. I can't. I can't with him. <clears throat> Please someone say they know what I'm talking about. Oh, what did you say? Would I get extra credit on homework? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, my goodness, this human, right? <laughs> exactly what I expected from you, Ruggy. You never disappoint. You know what? I can respect how Ruggy always looks out for number one. Not looking forward to tangling with those stairs again, but I'm thinking up along the same lines. Might as well come with. I'm coming as well. There's no telling what kind of grief I'd get if I later if I just stayed here. Besides, I can't let the smarmy villain get away with mocking us like that. Our school's honor is on the line. You bet I'm going with- You bet I'm going with the bell group. I don't run from fights. I gotta make sure that that punk gets it for everyone's he hurt. Sir, okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's gonna regret springing a trap on us. I'll destroy every last fighter- Fire- uh. I'll destroy every last fire lotus and wipe that smug smirk off Rolo's face. Deuce, appell, well said. Avenging every insult to person that personally is Night Riven College Way. It is? It is? Okay. Alright. We shall crush Rolo Flame ourselves! Alright. Indeed, let us ring the bell of souls and reclaim the beautiful Fleur City. Alright. Everyone, listen up. Lam used the Bell of Solas to propagate the flowers, so there's no way he hasn't considered this possibility. He's bound to be on the top floor of the tower, say guarding the bell. He's an exceptional ma mage, so I advise you to proceed with extreme caution. Okay. We're not gonna lose to some grand grognard mage? What the hell kind of important is I've never seen that word in my life. Clinging to an instinct relic of a flower. Please don't install insult us. Instead, I suggest you begin thinking of a suitable reward when we all return. Okay. I'll put a stop to all his schemes. <laughs> Where shall I begin? Just you wait, Flam. We'll face one another soon enough. Oh, Malleus! Malleus has beef! He has beef! <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. The more I look at Apollo, the more I think he looks like me. Ooh! And you're cute just as a pill. Oh, that's it? Damn, that was a lot. That was a lot. 
That's good. And we got look. That's oh my god. Beefy has entire cow, right? My gosh. Alright, let me collect my last chips. Yay! Normally I would pull, but I already pulled in my temple, so we're not gonna do that. And we're gonna wait until uh, Pull you know. So Malice's banner comes. The true banner that I'm really after. One where I'm gonna go all out. When next live, next live will be um Hold on. I need to check when the when the next when the stamp is ending. Rook, hello, Rook. Buto Kaino Makunagario. Kamen Utskiriba, what a statue at you. Ta Kokoro no Mumuku Mamani Odoro. He is so romantic with his words. I, I love him. <laughs> Golden is unlocked for him when it happens, yeah. Alright. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Oh, boy. I'm praying that mess appears for me. Same. I, I'm literally, it's all, all in for me. Like, after after this, it's over, you know? Okay, so... Last day is the 26th, so it's this Thursday? Oh my god! So, the next one, the next book four will come out Friday. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna be streaming... Friday or Sat. I'll pick Saturday. I'll, I'll stream on a Saturday. Um... 27th is when he arrives. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not ready. Alright, so next Twisted Run Online stream will be on Saturday. I'll try it. This is Saturday. I'll probably stream earlier. Um. You know, for the EU bros. EU sisters. Sis and bros. And, uh, before that, though, I think on Friday I'm gonna do Jack Jean. It's ultimate game. I finished uh, Souls Root and I want to do Mickey's Root. I promised people here that I'll play Mickey's Root. So I'll play Mickey's Root live Friday. Um, and enjoy that. Okay? Alright. Good luck, everybody. I hope you get <laughs> everything that you need before Thursday, which is crazy. Um, yeah. And have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.